What's going on guys? It's G Martin here for another video. And this one, we're talking all about B-roll. Okay, so first off, what is B-roll? Well, B-roll is a great kind of film that goes along with pretty much any sort of video. Depending on what you're trying to shoot, it works especially well with drone videos, however, as it goes to show what you're talking about. In this video, I'm gonna go over a bunch of things, including the different B-roll shots, how to use B-roll properly, and when to place it in your video so it works the best. So first off, the different B-roll shots. Well, if we're talking strictly drone shots, then there's a wide variety of things. You can do pretty much any singular move, which means you only have the drone move in one direction and you film it while you do it. Or you can do a multi-move, which is where you say, say you fly the drone up and you pan down, that's a multi-move, or you're, you know, you're flying to the left, but you're rotating to the right, that's a multi-move. Anything like that will work for drone B-roll segments. My personal favorite is when I take the bird's eye view shot and pretty much mix it with anything that I know how to mix. So you can really fly over anything when you're doing this and it'll work, it'll look good. It really just fits in with your video very well. All right, now that we talked about the different B-roll shots, B-roll goes along with your film in many different ways. You can pretty much overlay it with any sort of audio that you're talking about. Say you're doing a drone tutorial, you want your B-roll to kind of be very similar to it in a sense, and then you pretty much take your B-roll and you overlay it, and it helps to show what you're trying to portray. So that was pretty much the first main use of B-roll that a lot of people use it for, but now I'm gonna talk about the smaller group of people who pretty much just fly around their drone, get footage, and make a drone edit out of that. There's a certain way to do this correctly, and if you do it, it'll pay off and you'll get a sh it'll pay off and you'll get a whole bunch of views on your video and it really just helps out very nicely so when you're flying a your drone you want to look for cool objects in your scene that stand out once you find these things you want to fly your drone in a way that shows it in a very creative angle that most people wouldn't think of if you can get this down to where it looks good then you're doing something right i will give you credit for that me i still kind of personally struggle with shooting b-roll at certain places as i do find a few cool angles but there's really all there's really not that much you can do to make it that nice, but you just have to fly the drone to your best of ability, get the best shots you know how to possibly get, and make an edit that just looks nice. And then here's another little tip. If you're overlaying music to your drone clip, you wanna overlay it in a way where your drone shots go along with the music. When, if you can do this correctly, these videos will turn out amazing. Now comes the other part of B-roll that a lot of people overlook. It is actually where you don't fly your drone, but you rather get B-roll of your drone with another camera. When I take out my Canon, which I'm filming on right now, I'll place the drone in a really creative spot and I'll use my Canon camera to try and get it from a cool angle. You want to show different parts of the drone, say you're showing the camera or the battery or the propellers. Angle your camera in a way so that is the focus of that clip. And this goes for any drone, just so we all know. You can do this with the Mavic, with the Phantom, the Mavic Air, the Spark, like I'm doing. It really does not matter. All that matters is you film the drone in a way that is appealing to viewers and it looks new. Something that will kind of blow someone's mind if you think about it. That's kind of what I've been doing for this little segment. If you can see, I'll focus on different parts of the drone and it just overall, it looks amazing. It really does. Okay guys, I hope I helped you out. I hope you learned something. My name is G Martin and that's gonna wrap up this video and I guess I'll catch you in the next one.